Hi guys, welcome sa Hugot Sip na yan. At para sa topic natin for today, we're going to have some discussion on writing standard form of linear equation to slope intercept form. So, tara guys, alamin natin to, mga kahugot, mga real life, kung paano mag-write ng standard form to slope intercept form. Okay po! So, ang objective natin for today is by the end of this lesson or by the end of this video, kailangan pong ma-illustrate natin ang linear equation in two variables at our main objective natin guys ay determine ang slope ng isang line through its equation at mag-rewrite ng general form ng linear equation into slope intercept form. So, let's have some recall. Ano ba yung linear equation in two variables? So, linear equation in two variables is described as a relationship in which the value of one variable defends to another. So, dito guys, nabibigyan pansin yung tinatawag natin x and y. Na kung saan yung x ang ating independent variable, samantalang yung y naman ang dependent variable. Ang graph guys, ang linear equation from the word linear ay line. So, tinutawag po ito na first degree equation. So, ang standard form natin ng linear equation ay AX plus BY equals to C. Samantala, ang general form naman natin ay AX plus BY plus C equals to zero. So, guys, dito, ang A, B, at C ay lahat po sila ay real numbers. Now, aside from those general form at standard form, meron po po tayo tinatawag na slope-intercept form. So, kung ang 3x plus 4y equals to 5 ay nasa standard form at ang 3x plus 4y minus 5 ay nasa general form, meron naman tayong tinatawag na slope-intercept form. So, kung napapansin nyo guys, sa standard form at general form, meron tayong x at y. Ito nga po yung dalawang bagay na binibigyan natin pansin bilang variable. So, ang x ay independent variable, ang y naman natin ang dependent variable. No, mas makikita natin ang relationship ng dalawa kapag ginamit natin yung slope-intercept form o yung tinatawag ng graphical form. Pag graphical form, ginagamit niya po natin to sa pagka-graph. Now, ang slope-intercept form ay may form na y equals to mx plus b na kung saan yung M ang slope natin at yung B ang Y-intercept natin. So, recall natin, ano ba yung slope? Di ba ang slope ay measure ng steepness ng line? Kung gaano katarik ang ating line. So, kung naalala nyo pa ang discussion natin, ang slope ay change of Y over change of X. So, ano naman yung tinatawag nating Y-intercept? Kung meron tayong Y equals to MX plus B, yung value ng B natin, ang tinatawag nating y-intercept. Ito po yung point sa y-axis kung saan nag-intersect ang ating line. So, yung po yung tinatawag nating y-intercept and slope. So, tandaan natin guys, based on our note, babasahin ko po, slope-intercept form of the line is used for graphical purpose and also to show relationship between x and y. So, pag tayo nag-graph, pinakamadaling paraan para i-graph ang linear equation ay paggamit ng slope-intercept form. Let's have some example of slope-intercept form. So, y equals to 2x plus 4. Dito sa ating given, guys, ang 2 ang slope natin o yung measurement of rise over run o yung steepness ng line natin. Ang 4 natin, ang kinukonsider natin, as y-intercept o yung point kung saan nag-intersect ang y as ang ating line sa y-axis. Okay? Now, now, rewriting linear equation to slope-intercept form will help you to graph the line more, uh, more efficiently and easily, guys. So, it's also show yung variable changes natin. Ngayon, try natin kung paano mag-rewrite. 
So, given natin ay 2x minus 3y equals to 4. So, it, it is in the form of standard form na ax plus by equals to c. Classify natin. We have a equals to 2, b equals to negative 3, c equals to 4. Now, we need to rewrite them into the slope intercept form. Kailangan po natin siyang rewrite. Ang gagawin natin, napakasimple guys. Solve for y in terms of x. Hanapin natin ng y gamit ang variable na x. Ibig sabihin, sa left side ng ating equation, y lang ang matitira. Samantalang sa right side, nandun po lahat kasama yung x nating variable. So, try natin kung paano po ito. So, we have 2x minus 3y equals to 4. So, unang ginawa natin guys, you need to get the additive inverse. Ang ginagawa dito ang step dati ng mga bata, yung tatawag na transpose. Alam ko po, sa aking opinion po, wala pong word na transpose sa math. Ginagamit po ito sa ibang bahagi ng math, pero hindi po sa algebra. Ito po yung opinion ko, hindi po sa, uh, ito po yung nababasa ko rin sa libro. Now, ang unang gawin guys natin ito is additive inverse. Para mailipat natin yung 2x sa ating right side, gagamit ito yung additive inverse niya. Ibig sabihin, i-add ko yung negative part niya. Kung siya ay positive 2x, i-add ko both side ng equation yung negative 2x. Pag in ko yung negative 2x on the both side, we get negative 2x plus 2x minus 3y equals to 4 plus negative 2x. Now, simplifying the left side first, makasell out natin yung negative 2x at 2x, it becomes 0. Kaya ang matitira sa left side natin ay negative 3y. Samantalang on our right side, it will become negative 2x plus 4. But we need only y. So, ang gagawin natin after yun guys, i-divide natin yung whole equation by the given variable ng y natin, which is negative 3. Now, having negative 3 on our equation, we divide the whole equation by negative 3. Ngayon, pwede tayong mag-cancel out ng common factor from the numerator and denominator after nating mag-divide. So, dito guys, ang common natin ay negative 3 on the left side. Kaya po na nangyari, naging y na lang siya. Samantalang yung left side, uh, right side natin ay may negative 3. Now, we need to simplify the right side now. Kung sisimply na pa natin ang right side natin, tatanggalin natin yung mga negative from negative 2x and negative 3. Tanggalin po natin yung by dividing them. So, magsakit po natin ay y equals to 2x over 3 minus 4 all over 3. Or ang sagot po natin ay m equals to 2 over 3 which is our slope at ang y-intercept natin which is negative 4 over 3. Ngayon, kung medyo nahihirapan kayo, try natin ngayon with some steps. For next example, eto po yung mga solution natin. Try natin bigyan ng proper step kung paano siya ginawa. So, una natin given guys ay 2x plus 3y equals to negative 6. So, we identify a, b, c. We get 2, 3, and negative 6 respectively. So, first step, solve for y in terms of x. Yun lang naman po ang ginagawa natin. So, una natin gagawin, add the additive inverse of the numerical coefficient, yung constant, of the variable x to the both side of the equation. So, since we're talking about 2x here, we need to put them on the right side. Kailangan pong dalhin yung 2x sa right side. Kukunin po natin yung negative reciprocal niya. O yung tinatawag natin inverse niya, which is negative 2x. Ngayon, kung mag add ako ng negative 2x on both sides, mawawala yung positive 2x natin sa left side. Mada natin sa right side. Ngayon, pag in ko siya, Kung napansin nyo po ito, ito at saka ito guys, makakansel natin yan. Tapos, malilipat natin yung positive 2x on the, on the right side. So, meron tayong 3x, sorry, 3y equals to negative 2x minus 6. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin eliminate naman dito yung 3. 
Kaya ang ginawa, on the third panel, dinivide ang whole equation by 3. So, after adding, divide the whole equation by the numerical coefficient of 3. O itataw na constant, which is 3. So, simplify possible. So, dinivide siya. So, we have 2, negative 2x all over 3. At saka yung negative 6 natin, over 3. Now, simplifying that equation, it will turn out to be y equals to negative 2x over 3 minus 2. Minus 2 po siya kasi we divide negative 6 by the given which is 3. So, tama po ba? So, tandaan nyo guys, simple lang ang ginagawa natin when we are trying to rewrite. Ang tayo natin rewrite, kailangan y lamang ang matitira sa ating left side. So, for our slope, ang slope natin ay negative 2 over 3 at ang ating y-intercept ay negative 2. Now, let's continue with the next example. So, solve for y in terms of x. So, ang given po natin ay 4x plus 5y equals to 6. So, ngayon, i-add naman natin ang kabaliktara ng 4x which is negative 4x on the both side para siya ay malipat natin. So, pag nilipat po natin siya, magiging siyang 5y equals to negative 4x plus 6. Ngayon, kailangan natin eliminate si 5. Kaya ang ginawa po natin on, the, on our equation, we divide we divide the whole equation by the numerical coefficient of y which is 5. So ngayon po, dinivide natin siya. After dividing, it will become turn out to be y equals to negative 4x over 5 plus 6 over 5. So, ang ating slope is negative 4 over 5 at ang ating y-intercept ay 6 over 5. So, tingnan natin kung naintindihan yung ating discussion. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 item, try to rewrite the following at bibigyan ko lamang kayo ng 5 minutes. Okay? So, try po yung mga item natin setting screen.
Up, times up, guys. So, times up. So, ito po yung ating yung mga asagutan. For number 1, we have negative 3x over 4 plus 5 over 4. Y equals to 2x over 5 plus 2 for number 2. Sa number 3 po ay y equals to 3x minus 9. Sa number 4 po ay y equals to negative x minus 3. At sa number 5, y equals to 2x over 5 minus 3. So guys, nakatama po ba kayo? So, I hope tumatama po kayo sa mga item natin. And I hope you learned something from our discussion. So guys, so thank you po guys. So, I hope you learned something from our video. So, ito po yung mga personal account ko, social media account. And, I hope you learned something from our discussion for today, which is rewriting a standard form of linear equation into slope intercept form at papaano mag-identify ng slope natin gamit ang ating equation. I hope you learned something guys. See you on the next video. Ingat po and God bless.